Hey, hey, everybody, Mountain Dew Manual here. Welcome back to Vox Populi Diamond, my home away from home. Uh, the sun is rising, the moon is falling, and that means that I have a brand new day to share with you, and I have done quite a bit of stuff. So, uh, been having a little bit of help. Uh, my friend Connor Calvin, one of my gurus, uh, plays on this server. And he has been helping me work on my Mesa. Also, Strangled by Art has been helping me with gathering. I've been trading uh, quartz and uh, dirt and things I need for clay, which they need. So we have been trading out. You can see we are getting into it. The quartz is coming in very handy. Uh, looking very spiffy. Let me show you what I did. Uh, got another le uh, level ready right there. Uh, uh, Connor did the stairs for me. Um, let me get over here. I have put in a waterfall. Uh, let me show you that real quick before we get too, too low. Um, is it this level or the next? No, it's this level. I've been adding, uh, there will be, th remember this is going to be uh, dirt. And I put in this waterfall over here, made a pond over here, and then it goes on down. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Let's see if we can see it from somewhere. Please don't let me fall and die. Uh, yeah, there you go. It goes all the way down to the bottom. So, got me a waterfall. This is... I'm I'm trying, guys. I try so hard <laughs> to break away from my OCDness. I try for you. So what I am doing, I decided that this would look more natural if I started leaving the mesa. You know what I'm saying? So there's going to be, if I'm not mistaken, and I think I got this right. Uh, me and Calvin kind of added it up. There are twelve things you can grow in Minecraft. So I'm hoping, hoping there are going to be 12 layers. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be 12 layers, but because there's like, that up there is going to be storage. So there's going to be, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm digging out seven. The one, going on down, it will actually work out pretty good because there's going to be like mushrooms and stuff and they need dark so that is going to work out rather well when some of these actually go down into the ground so actually that is going to look kind of cool but uh to everybody that is helping me or you've uh donated something to me or we've traded something thank you so much i really do appreciate it i am also going to put a rail uh, i think around here and up here is going to be tree farms. I think I'm going to do that. And then, um, like I said, this is starting to get filled in. There will be another circle below this one. And then I'm thinking about making some sort of um, pedestal or something. You know, like a, a stand for this to like... I don't know, like um, the, you know, the the restaurants you see, the revolving restaurants, you know, they got the big globe on top and then like, the little skinny tower coming down. I thought that would look really cool. Um, people leave me stuff in my mailbox uh, when they want to donate. Uh, so that's, it's very, very wonderful of you guys to do that. Um, I really do appreciate it. I had my armor off to take care of some stuffage. So we will stick that back on. And I've been already harvesting. Man, that tree grew fast. Wow. <laughs> that was quick. Um, I've been trying to get some of my levels up on like cutting wood, uh, mining, things like that. And let me tell you, let me do, uh, let me pause a minute and get chat up so you can see what has happened. Hold on just one second. Okay, so chat is up. If I do... MC Top Fishing. You will see that I am no longer. Uh, let me get over. There you go. I am no longer um, Top Fisherman, 
uh, a Santee Zero has passed me by by quite a bit actually so and I have held the fishing record for a very long time so congratulations uh, I will try to get back on track but um, that's I mean that's a pretty good score so and I've held it for a long time maybe it's time for somebody else to hold it for a while um, also I have been shearing my sheepies uh, let me get rid of the chat again hold on all right scale that back down to zero I have been doing my sheepies, uh, getting wool, and I have thought of a good use for the clay that I've been collecting. And if you guys are wondering why I don't have more than five sheep, anything more than that in a chunk, and they will despawn just to keep the lag down. So, I, and I'm getting 12, you know, uh, I might do sneak in like maybe one more, but it won't be more than that. Uh, just to help with the, to help the server with lag and stuff like that. So what else have I been doing? Um, that is just about it. We really have been digging. I have went through so many pickaxes. It ain't even funny anymore. Uh, I have lost count on how many pickaxes I have gone through. So, but there is one more thing that I want to show you. Um, let me put. Uh, let me clean out my inventory just a little bit. Uh, put these back where they go. Oh, that's something else I want to show you. I did finally make a copy of my banner. A proud member of the Pink Sheep Clan, led by Paul Source Jr. Um, always pay tribute to Paul. I consider him the godfather of Minecraft. As far as I know, he was the first person to do a uh, how-to, let's play, uh, you know, tutorial on Minecraft. As far as I know. So I consider him just, you know, the end-all, get-all when it comes to Minecraft. Um, that's just my personal opinion, uh, just what I think, so, you know. But uh, anyway, let me, uh, let me show you really quick what these lower levels are going to look like. See, these are all going to be, that's when the first one starts kind of wrapping around. And this one, uh, even more. And this is, I think, carrots. I've started growing, um, yeah, I've started with putting the carrots in. And I've got wheat, cor uh, corn, oh my god, P Minecraft, please get corn, okay? <laughs> I've got wheat, potatoes, and carrots so far. This level will probably be beets, and then uh, we'll go on down and do other stuff. But I have, I've been having creepers pop up. Even though they have mobs turned off, um, just to help with the lag, they do still occasionally spawn. Uh, I don't know if they have them just turned way down, but it does happen. Um, I even heard somebody say that they ran into some guardians out at a sea temple somewhere. So yeah, I had a, where you see all the broken stuff over there, I had a creeper, and I, I didn't even see him, I wasn't even paying attention, and turned around, I was laying the red clay, and I mean, he just, bam, was right there. And with the new mechanics, um, I mean, this has 12 damage, but it's got one attack speed, and I mean, I just blew up, there it was. And, I mean, I swung once, and I was like, no, 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 and it didn't do crap. Um, so I see what the big to-do is about the mechanics of it. I just, you know. But anyway, getting back on track. You can see these are all filled. In. This will, I will probably fill, I don't know. I don't know if I want to fill this in to make it, you know what I'm saying? Um, do I want this little lip here? I probably, probably do, actually, and I can dig back in this and make storage, whatever I want to do, but I just started thinking to myself, if I make this just, you know, if I carve all this down, it's going to look stupid, you know? This is the one I'm digging on now. These steps do go all the way down, all the way around. So this is going to look really, and all this is going to stay this way, All just the, just a actual cave ooh wow okay um and then i was thinking about maybe putting a dock or something back here i don't know that might look pretty good but it's coming along it's coming along uh with a lot of help from a, a couple people that i really appreciate you guys just don't know uh this is this can get tedious but you know me once i start something 
uh, it, the OCD just drives me crazy until my poor little sad computer can't handle it anymore, and I just have to, you know, stop playing or whatever. But that is what is happening at Zemesa. Now I've got something else I want to show you, something they have uh, introduced. I happened to catch Zombie Mold in chat. He was talking about it. And uh, I thought it was very, very cool. So um, let's do, I don't know, what, uh, let me, mm. oh my God, so much stuff. So much stuff, I just don't know what to do with it. <laughs> but I want to leave this stuff over here so I don't misplace it. Uh, I've already misplaced quartz somewhere. I haven't got a clue what I did with it. It's just somewhere. <laughs> So I'm not really sure. I've just got odds and ends, and I got to get this stuff organized. It is driving me bananas. So let's get rid of this. Uh, don't think I need the seeds anymore. I think they're all full. Uh, we can leave the diamond over here and put you. Well, let's put you right there. There we go. And I've been doing some fishing, trying to do a little bit of catch up, um, but that's no biggie. Leave my hoe over here, and I want to show you this. This is called the journal. To get this, you do slash journal, okay? It actually has quests. Now, it's blank when you get it. So let me show you what to do with it. Let me get over to uh, downtown, and uh, I'll show you what to do with this. Hold on one sec. Okay, here we are at downtown. I think I have, when I come on, I think I have mail. Ah. Uh... I got a flower from Jedi J. Thank you, JJ. Thank you. You are so awesome. Oh, good Lord. What the hell? <laughs> There's some of the craziest stuff. All right. I have got to find. I wish that I had my uh, mini map. Uh, I end up wandering around the streets, just uh, back and forth, in and out, up and down. Drives me crazy. Because there are back streets, and if you don't cut down the right one, you just end up going in circles. Oh, somebody's got some wings. Very cool. So, let me find... That's not it. Uh, that's not it. Gallery of Prestige. Uh, where is it? Come on. Uh, the pet shop. Okay. Latin zombie staff. I have a suggestion to make. We need on these corners. We need street signs. We ne that's what we need. That's I'm going to put that in the suggestion box. Uh, we need street signs. So anyway, if you come back behind the pet shop uh, after you do slash journal and you get your journal, you talk to this dude right here. This is Knight Smithy Henry. Okay. And if you talk to him, if you right-click on him, huh? yeah, hey, uh, hold on. Uh, let me turn on chat. Hold on. Huh. Okay, I put it at 100% so you can see it. So here is um, the Smithy guy right here, okay? So if you come over and click on him in chat, he will ask you different questions. Huh. And you just type in chat whatever your response is, one, two, or three. So he gives you quests to fulfill. Huh. So right now he's asked me to defeat 15 skeletons. 15 skeleton horses, and to bring back 15 bones as proof of their kills. So, and I'm assuming once you do that, he uh, asks you to do something else. So, I don't want to hit him or anything. Um, he might not even do anything until uh, you, oh, well, I didn't know it started. It says it finished right there. You see it. Oh, here it is. Glad to see you back in one piece. I take it those skeleton traps have been dealt with. And it says, I haven't finished the task yet or goodbye. So I will say, um, let's say uh -huh. one. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, well, I urge you to get back out there at the earliest opportunity. People die to these creatures. And then it's finished. So once uh -huh. I get the quest done, I can come back. And I'm going to assume he's going to give me another one. So that is just another feature that Vox Populi is, is like a quest book. That is pretty awesome. I tell you what, guys, y'all just blow my mind. I mean, really, it just blow my mind. Wow. Crazy. Crazy. 
Oh, hello. Good lord. Um, and I'm going to think, I think I'm going to work on, uh, identity. I want to work on the nine slot backpack next. That's my next goal. Uh, but it takes 59, whereas the job only took 49. So, you can also do the nine slot quiver. Uh, so you can do arrows. And let's see. What else do you guys do? Epic Enigma. Place this item in a crafting window to convert it into a single epic quality unique dungeon item. And that only takes 10. We might do some of those. I'd like to uh, try those out. Hmm. Feather falling. Some of this stuff is pretty cool. It's got lots of uh, sockets on it. Hmm. Oh. Unbreaking. Okay. Diver set. Ornate. Oh, Aqua Affinity. Respiration. That's That would be kind of cool. Only two conquest. Oh. That might be I might get one of those. Wrist strap. Okay. There is some really... I mean, I've got item crates. Um, the, pro, the problem is... Now, you guys correct me if I am wrong... Diamond key. The only place conquest token in okay. The only place you can get diamond keys is on the store, right? On the eShop. Seems like I've asked before and I can't remember. Um so hold on just one second, let me get rid of this chat for you. But that is the newest thing. So we might have to go out and hunt us some skeleton horses. I might get uh somebody to go with me because you guys know I'm not a mob fighter or anything and also i've already asked um strangled by art if they would be willing to do and i'll probably ask connor as well be willing to um join me in an arena for my uh 10 can challenge this time we are playing and gaming for toys for tots so anytime you guys want to join in um just play a game figure out a way to score and go uh usually to your um local walmart uh or somewhere in your community there is probably going to be a collection for toys for tots so make sure that you get in on that even if you can't donate a toy or something if you will just share everything around for me that would be just totally awesome totally awesome Let's go, let's look back in here. Hmm, I'm not seeing the guy. I was hoping that other dude would be here, but uh, haven't seen him. Uh, that traveler or whatever, he usually shows up um, down here, so we've got to keep an eye out for him. But anyway, I guess that's all for now, but you, make sure that you go share uh, my 10 can challenge video, and... Uh, hope you will join me if you have another favorite youtuber which of course we all do uh, challenge them say hey I heard about this challenge uh, this challenge uh, for charity to get toys for tots I do not want money okay now a couple people have already donated and that's fine I do have a GoFundMe I, I'm not going to put it in the description or anything it's on my Facebook page uh, I will put that link in, okay? If you want to scroll down through and find it, that's fine. And if you want to donate, that's fine. It's much appreciated. The money will stay until a couple of days right before um, the Toys for Tots barrels are getting ready to... They always put like a notice, These will we will take these down tomorrow, whatever. Um, and I will buy toys and put them, whatever the amount is... Um, I will buy toys and put them uh, toward that. And I do not keep any of the money. And, uh, I mean, a couple of people, well, you know, I'm from the UK. I'm from Canada. We don't, of course, you know, we don't have anything like that here. That's perfectly fine, and it is much appreciated. Uh, and I know, hope you guys know that you can trust me to make sure that I will buy toys with the money. Also, in my Walmart here in North Carolina, in my hometown, um there is a local box uh, for coats for kids. 
uh, they do it every year. Uh, organization here in my town does. Um, you can donate coats, and they will be given out to needy kids. And so check around your area. Just because, I mean, it's, you know, even if it's not uh, for Toys for Tots, there might be a church or an organization, you know, doing taking donations for toys and stuff so kids can have Christmas. And if you've ever... I mean, struggled and not, you know, had the money. You, know, I mean, especially parents, you know how it feels, you know, when you couldn't buy for your kids. And there are a lot of kids out there that don't get anything. And I'm talking, you know, they're lucky if they get a meal. And I think in times like now when everybody is just seems to be just in, you know, chaos, we need to center ourselves and get back to what we do best, and that is helping each other. And I think that's the most important thing right now that we need to be focusing on, uh, not all this other crap going on. So anyway, I um, hope you guys enjoyed. And let me know uh, if you're from Vox, if you're doing the journal. And if you want to, like, team up and maybe go out and hunt some skelly horses, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, but I do suck. I'm just letting everybody know. <laughs> so until next time, guys, this is Mountain Dew Mania. And I uh, hope you enjoy it. And I am so out of here. Later, guys.